Question 1. If you see livestock on the road, you should A. Honk your horn continuously until they move. B. Drive slowly until they move out of the way. C. Turn around and find another route. Answer. B. Drive slowly until they move out of the way. Livestock can be unpredictable. Drive cautiously and give them space to move. Question 2. At a roundabout with multiple lanes, if you wish to exit immediately, you should A. Stay in the left lane B. Stay in the right lane C. Use any lane Answer. B. Stay in the right lane For immediate exits at multi-lane roundabouts, always use the right lane. Question 3. When driving in fog, it is best to use A. High beam headlights B. Low beam headlights. C. Parking lights. Answer. B. Low beam headlights. High beams can reflect off the fog and impair visibility further. Question 4. If your gas pedal sticks, you should A. Shift to neutral and apply brakes. B. Turn off the engine immediately. C. Pump the accelerator. Answer. A. Shift to neutral and apply brakes. This allows you to control the vehicle while slowing down. Question 5. At an intersection, a yellow arrow pointing left means. A. Stop and wait for a green arrow. B. Yield to oncoming traffic and then turn left. C. Left turns are not allowed. Answer. B. Yield to oncoming traffic and then turn left. A yellow arrow signals caution. Question 6. If a blind pedestrian is waiting at a crosswalk with a white cane or a guide dog, A. You can drive past if they haven't started crossing. B. You must stop and let them cross. C. Honk your horn to alert them of your presence. Answer. B. You must stop and let them cross. Respect and prioritize the safety of visually impaired pedestrians. Question 7. True or false? You can receive a DUI for medications that don't have a warning label. Answer. True. Even medications without warning labels can impair driving, leading to a DUI. Question 8. In parking lots, you should A. Drive faster to find a spot quickly. B. Ignore stop signs as they're not legally binding. C. Drive slowly and use your turn signals. Answer. C. Drive slowly and use your turn signals. Parking lots can be busy, and it's essential to signal your intentions. Question 9. True or false? You must always drive slower than the posted speed limit during adverse weather conditions. Answer. True. Safety is a priority, and adverse weather can reduce visibility and road traction. Question 10. A broken white line on the road indicates... A. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the opposite direction. B. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. C. A pedestrian crossing. Answer. B. Separate lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. It means you can change lanes if it's safe. Question 11. When being tailgated, you should A. Brake hard to warn the driver. B. Speed up to create distance. C. Reduce speed slowly and let them pass. Answer. C. Reduce speed slowly and let them pass. This prevents potential collisions. Question 12. Before turning left, the right of way should be given to oncoming cars. A. Until most cars have passed. B. Until it's reasonably safe to turn. C. Only when cars are at a significant distance. Answer. B. Until it's reasonably safe to turn, ensure the path is clear and safe before you make your turn. Question 13. If an oncoming vehicle has its high beams on, you should A. Flash your high beams in return. B. Look to the right edge of your lane. C. Cover your eyes with your hand. Answer. B. Look to the right edge of your lane. This prevents being blinded by the high beams. Question 14. 
when parking uphill with a curb, your front wheels should be. A. Turn towards the curb. B. Turned away from the curb. C. Parallel to the curb. Answer. B. Turned away from the curb. This ensures that if the vehicle rolls, it will roll away from traffic. Question 15. Children under what age should always be secured in a federally approved child passenger restraint system? A. 4 years. B. 6 years. C. 8 years. Answer. C. 8 years. California law requires children to be in a proper child restraint until they are 8 years old. Question 16. When driving near school zones, you should A. Expect no change in the speed limit. B. Always drive faster to clear the zone quickly. C. Always drive slowly and be alert. Answer. C. Always drive slowly and be alert. Children can be unpredictable, so it's crucial to exercise caution. Question 17. True or false? You can use your cell phone when stopped at a red light. Answer. False. In California, it's illegal to use a handheld device while driving, including when stopped at lights. Question 18. If you see a do not pass sign, it means A. You should pass the car in front if it's safe. B. You cannot pass until the sign is out of sight. C. You should not pass other vehicles in this area. Answer. C. You should not pass other vehicles in this area. The sign is indicating that it's not safe to pass in that zone. Question 19. Hydroplaning is A. A method to save fuel. B. Losing tire traction in wet conditions and sliding on a film of water. C. A type of new tire technology. Answer. B. Losing tire traction in wet conditions and sliding on a film of water. It can occur during heavy rain or when roads are wet. Question 20. A no U-turn sign is A. Rectangular B. Diamond-shaped C. Square Answer. A. Rectangular It indicates areas where U-turns are prohibited, 